guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a really flavorful and easy salsa recipe. So what we're going to be using today is 10, um, is a pint of cherry tomatoes. I'm using tomatillos as well. I'm using 10 smaller tomatillos, three cloves of garlic, three serrano chilies, and you can always put more if you think that it's the spice level is not enough for you. I'm going to use the juice of one entire lemon, half of an onion, some cilantro, and I have some caldo de pollo to uh, season, and we'll be using a little bit of water if it gets a little too thick. So what I do is just start out, I have the oil heating, and then I'm going to place everything that you see here, except for the, um, except for the lemon, <laughs> into the pan to get everything nice and toasted and charred. I have turned off my flame. All the vegetables have a nice black uh, charred um, area on them. They're nice and cooked through. And so now what I'm gonna do is transfer everything into the blender. I already have the juice of the lemon in here. And now I'm just going to get everything that's in here and put it into the blender and you want to get all the juices everything that's in there probably about half a tablespoon of caldo de pollo that's what I'm going to start with or chicken nor that's probably what you know it as um, I'm just going to put that in there and start with a little because then you could always adjust later and I'm going to put in a handful of cilantro now, I don't know if I'm going to need water yet. There's quite possibly just enough liquid in there to um, have it be fine. It won't, make the, um, it won't make the Vitamix work too hard or whatever blender you have. But I do have a little bit of water here on the side just in case. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and just blend it up to the consistency that you like. So some people like it a little chunkier. You can just do it a little bit uh, less in the blender. Um, so here we go. Taste it to see if it needs any salt. Ooh, the chilies are spicy, but it does need a little bit more salt. Tastes good. You can taste the brightness of the lemon. Um, there's cilantro in there, and then just enough spiciness to give a little kick. It's not overpowering or anything at all, but if you want a little bit more spiciness, just add another serrano or a couple more if you like it really spicy. So that's how I make this salsa. There's lots of other different salsas that I want to share with you in the future, but I just want to say thank you so much for spending time with me and watching this video. And if you would be so kind as to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if it's something that you enjoy or if you try it uh, let me know on any of my social media thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next recipe bye bye